first Moonstone test since they've buffed it on 10.24. So I'm pretty excited. They did a big buff, a huge buff, and I've been hearing good things. Um, I didn't get to play on the Tuesday as I was making REL content on the PBE. So uh, this is going to be, yeah, I'm a bit late to the Moonstone, but I'm going to be doing lots of different enchanters and investigating which enchanter is going to be using Moonstone the best, starting with Soraka, hopefully doing a Sona, Nami, and, you know, Lulu. wanted to do Lulu for this one, actually, but the Vein banned Lulu. I don't know why, but it is what it is. And hey, hit button. Thank you for the Prime Game sub. Welcome to the Berry Bush. So, a lot of subs today. Appreciate you. Thank you for everyone who is subbed on Twitch. Thank you for supporting what I do with the extra pennies, especially if you've got Prime, Amazon Prime. Danny, thank you for the 27 months of support. So, we're up against a pretty aggressive bot lane with the Hallucian and Nautilus. Um, as you can notice, I've got heal. The vein has exhaust. Uh, against double kind of like hard engage bot lanes, I would generally opt into a barrier. But I think having the heal is a bit more important than the barrier if the AD carry is not willing to pick up the uh, the uh, the heal. Wait, is this scuffed? No. Okay. I want the music on, but it just seems a little louder than usual. I know they changed the font and the, the chat box is tiny. But also Twitch chat said you can make it bigger, the uh, the minimap. So I need to have a look at that. You need to be pretty careful against the, uh, the hard engage here. I could have opted into a relic shield. That would have been okay. But uh, the extra stats that you get from spell fees are nice if you think you're able to pull it off. Honestly, it's a lot of decent harassment there. She might got caught, but Lucian's really low. Don't have W yet for the vein. Vein's still taking a little bit too much. Nice little double silence there. Lucian, no health potions. Do you need to kind of respect the Nunu gank? Silence will interrupt the snowball on Nunu. So I'm going to need to look to hold on to that a little bit now until we understand where, roughly, where Nunu is. So no more E for poking now, basically. Yeah, there we go. Nunu got rooted there. Exactly what I was talking about. That's perfect. Got wards that one up on the put. Okay. I don't have E cooldown yet. It's gonna get silenced. Oh! Yeah, it's a shame she condemned the Nunu out of the silence. Nice. Good job. Hey Mario, thank you for the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome to the Berry Bush. Yeah, it's a shame my E was like on a one and a half, two second cooldown when the next new new snowball was coming through. So I haven't warded yet. I'm just too hesitant <laughs> to go into the to the river. If I did go up into that tri brush, I would have taken a lot of damage. I'm gonna put three points in Q. Good start. A good chunk of gold as well from Spellfeast, honestly, against something that double hard engage in the bot lane. So we are going to be making our way towards Moonstone. Um, can I get boots still with this build? Not really, no. Yeah. 
I might do nah. I was gonna say I might do double fairy charm, but actually like I think Soraka's one of the few enchanters that doesn't get punished too much on mana costs. Yes, they're there, but it's like Nami's stuff is for example much more expensive than Soraka's. You could incorporate a double fairy charm into your build because this will eventually like if you hit the second fairy charm that you put into your kit will be converted into like an ardent sensor or staff of flowing water anyway. So it's not as much of a big deal. Just whacking it down. I don't think Nuni's going to be down here. Ooh. Don't know how to cast him in there with that Q hit. Yeah. That was rough. I have no more health potions now. Need to land Qs and try and get them safely done. Lucian's quite low. Yes, I've mm, got no more silence. Should better get the Nuno, I guess. Okay. Good job. Veins are already getting pretty fed. Oh, I need like 20 gold in one hit on that turret, ideally, just to get wards through. Did that E there primarily just for the extra gold, just to get the uh, rewards in. Could go into tier 2 boots here, would make me a little bit safer in the lane. Um, I'm actually going to buy a Kindle Gem. I know that might sound a bit weird, but the extra health is just going to make me a little bit tankier here, and I don't really need the extra damage or extra AP scales. The AP scaling on the, on the, um, on the W is okay, but... I think, you know, if I get caught out by a Nautilus hook, I want to make sure that I can survive one combo, or if the Zed runs down, I think the extra health is going to be more important here. It's a shame they discover Sejuani. A little bit early here, we're not quite here yet. Nautilus is trying to get away. Nice. No assist for the vein there though. So it was a solo kill from Sejuani. How do I feel about Staff of Flowing Water and Nami? I think Staff of Flowing Water is a pretty strong item overall. I think in, in most cases is actually stronger than Ardent. Um, I think the movement speed alone is pretty huge. 15% is massive. to get a few more wards around. Might just max W now since I've already put another point in the W because of the uh, the last fight that was happening. Not too far away from Moonstone. 1,100 gold to go. That's gonna be nice. Condemn with the uh, the silence into root proc. Me and Vayne are linking up really nicely here. Hey man, didn't know you're a fan of healer supports. I play every support, well, every legit support anyway. Oh no, I'm trying him. Or am I? No. 
<laughs> Try and push out this wave and then reset again. I don't think we should stick around here for much longer. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's have a bit more cooldown reduction, some AP with the Bandle Blast, and then we're very close to the Moonstone. Um, I'm not gonna... I was gonna say not gonna buy like... I think t this game is gonna be like a Ninja Tabby game. Malphite I don't think is AP, I think is a tank Malphite, and the rest of their team is more burst AD. I think it's the, the amount of crowd control they have on the team isn't too bad. So yeah, I think it's still capped, but I didn't want to buy an, um, a cloth armor just yet. I want to get that moonstone in as quickly as possible, mainly just to test it out. Wow, I didn't get that CS. So you guys said I could make this mini-map bigger, right? Holy moly, dude. Wow. Okay, that might be slightly too big. That's actually not bad. I like that. It's a shame these profile icons are a bit bigger, but... I like it. Incoming stream snipers, I know, right? Off she goes. This might be... Yeah, can I... She nearly died there. She was 4-0. Oh, God. Trying to keep you alive. Keep everyone alive here, right? We have enough damage for kills, do we? Wow, we do. That was pretty insane, actually. Yeah, I was untouched. It's kind of too early for them to even really consider much of Grievous wins, so... Yeah. Nice. I think Malphite regretted his TP instantly. That's why he was trying to like back towards the tier two. We will three months. So okay, good morning. Hey pickle, thank you for the three months. All right, Moonstone. As easy as that. Boom. Um, doo -ba -doo 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 -doo. we'll go towards the steel caps. I'm sure I'll get focused soon. Right, they're set up to the vein. We've got 40 seconds to get more turret platings. Okay. Is it me? Did I enlarge the minimap? Yes, it is huge. Although my shoulder is now covering it a little bit. There you go. You can see my nexus. There you go. If I do that, if I just play like this the entire game, you can see the minimap properly. <laughs> Hello. Hey, chat. Hey, how you guys doing? Um, yeah, but I like the minimap being bigger. That's nice. Might have to flash here. Uh... Yeah, I don't want to stick around. There's four people top. Alright, there's decent vision in the river now. Vayne is up against the Malphite by herself at the moment. First time I've really noticed this um, aura around the uh, the Moonstone. Is that new for this patch? Something a bit more going on over there. 
Sejuani is really tanky actually. She's on 5 1 right now. She's kind of 2v1ing. Oh, you can keep pushing in him. Done 74 healing with the Moonstone. But to be fair, there's absolutely nothing's happened here, so. Hopefully once we get into a team fight, we're going to see how much this uh, thing heals. It's getting to a little bit of a stomp stage at the moment. Let's back away from this. Okay, here we go. That silence is just absolutely wrecking the Nunu. Okie dokie. Yeah, unfortunately no actual use of the Moonstone at the moment since it's just nothing going on. Pick up the Forbidden Idol, that will enhance the Moonstone's healing and obviously my W and my ulti. Um, we start there from Vayne? Eh, it's fine. It'll be off in no time. Kale's the only one on our team that's really suffering. 0-4 at the moment. Everyone else on our team is doing alright. Particularly the Vayne and the Sejuani, so. Do you have to land a silence field or is this a silence everyone entering? The void zone that's on the ground, anyone that enters it is silenced. So you don't need to land it on the Nunu, you can put it on his path. And he can't get away from it, so he will get silenced. Why Gathering Storm instead of Water Walking? Because on Soraka I don't generally tend to roam up towards mid as much. It's a dragon up in 30. Okay, maybe I didn't want to be there. Rude. Everyone's full HP, someone take some damage. Okay, good. Dragon's up in eight. It will be our third dragon as well. I think for item wise this game we can just do Ardent first just because the vein is extremely far ahead. You could use the extra attack speed with her uh, Kraken Slayer. Oh, if they stop putting borders around mythic items. That's a shame. I like that because uh, it made it clear what items were mythic. I kind of hope they bring that back. Start maxing E next just to bring down the cooldown of that ability down. Buy some controls. There's nothing else I can really do. What's the healing on this Moonstone this game? 74! But I'm going to... It's... Not a fair, um, you know, it's not really fair though because we haven't actually had any fights really since picking it up. So, and everyone's just been full health anyway. So yeah, unfortunately, there's no overhealing. Mission's mid. Mission has a Kraken Slayer now. I mean, we can look to doing Baron. So here we go. Okay, Moonstone didn't really get to do anything there because my W healed them up to max anyway. Anyone gonna commit to a fight here? Getting ready for the Malphite ulti? It's gonna come, right? You need to use ulti. No one's focusing me? Okay, now Zed's looking at me a little bit more.
thought we could go for that Lucian, to be honest. Moonstone healing in that fight. Well, that actually healed for like 800, apparently, the Moonstone. In that one fight, 800 healing. That seems quite a lot. I mean, that's a very good reference, then. That's more than what Athens and Holy Grail was doing, for sure. Nice that that was a longer fight as well. I found it difficult to actually get skills and to stay in combat though. So I can imagine like a Sona constantly in combat with all allied champions is going to be able to proc it a little bit more often than Soraka. That's no, that science. Wow, that was a good Sejuani ult. They're going a bit deep. I forgot anything. Okay, they're fine. The jungler's dead. And they got two in hips down, so. We should be pretty fine at doing this. We've got two Blade of the Ring Kings and Vayne with a Kraken Slayer. Should die pretty quickly. Silence into root, yeah, that's brutal. The same's been playing pretty well. Never mind, she died. <laughs> Maybe I could have altered her there actually. Wasn't really paying attention if I'm honest. Probably get a lot of healing now from Moonstone. Man, they, they just realized. What? So I've got silence there. No, 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 no. Okay, now they finally decide to focus me. It's a shame because Kale actually had ulti for that. She could have kept me going a little bit more. 2.2k healing now. So we probably did another 1k healing in that fight. It's a shame the Vayne wasn't around. Yeah, it's not bad. It's actually, you know, Enchanters are kind of back now then. I think now Enchanters are going to get focused down <laughs> more than ever though. So that is going to be the downside. But fortunately something like the Zonias is cheaper now though. So we're going to be going Zonias next. That's the fourth Drake, sorry, that's Mountain Salt. And now we can look at ending the game, it's all about closing it out now. Shouldn't take too long, a couple more minutes and this game's over. But it's been a pretty solid laney phase. Um, yeah, nothing else to add really, just a decent vein player. My silences were pretty good overall. I don't think Vayne needs to recall. If Vayne recalls, then we're just going to be wasting a lot of time, I think. Heal, 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 heal. Wow, well, I think we just did another 1k healing just from that, like, last little bit of stuff going on there. Does it feel better though? Honestly, it's one of the downsides of Moonstone is that it's impossible to, help to tell how much is actually healing until you then look at the item, right? Like the feedback feel from the item is absolutely garbage. But if the numbers are true, then it's actually healing for quite a lot um, without me really feeding it though. But honestly, Riot needs to do a better job at feedback on the item. 
Uh, like Athena's in a holy growl, you really got that fe feedback when you did that burst heal. But these like little trickle of dots and stuff, I don't know. Maybe like a laser needs to come out of you to the person that's he been healed from the moonstone or something. Something um, a lot more obvious needs to happen. And the, the, the thickness of the heal of the laser would, would get bigger as the, the stacks are multiplying or something. Hopefully it's something that they can address in the, in the next few months because that's like the, my main my main disappointment of the actual item itself is, is just because of the, the feedback is horrible. 14.9k healing overall uh, in that game. Nobody else really healing so it's not really comparable. There's no other healing enchanter like a Sona on the other team to really compare that to. But um, yeah, I mean, we're going to be testing Moonstone more. I think uh, it would be interesting to... I mean, that game was kind of the stomp, if I'm honest. Um, we won the any phase generally pretty convincing, but it was more the Soraka gameplay as opposed to Moonstone gameplay, if I'm going to be be honest. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're watching this on YouTube, then don't forget to subscribe. Tell me how... Also. In the comments down below, tell me how you feel that Moonstone's working out this uh, this patch so far. And if you're on Twitch, don't forget to give me a little follow. And don't forget to stay very awesome. All of those things to remember. That's too much, isn't it? <laughs>